Hey guys, guess who? It is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read um, with the Sacred Signs and Symbol deck to see what your energy is. You guys, I have been gone for a little over a week. Um, I am in the process of always getting stuff done, right? Smoke grenade, sabotage, smoke and explosion. So yeah, rocking horse childhood experiences. You're not letting anybody blow smoke up your ass anymore in regards to how they have been treated in the past about childhood experiences. You're not reflecting. You don't care about anybody um, being coming in and being a superhero, being sneaky, um, any of those things. None of that is happening with you right now. You're not dealing with any of these uh, childhood issues or people just, you know, living by fate and by chance, you know, taking chances to basically um, maybe disrespect you or just be sneaky around you because the past is not holding you back anymore this is a really good read and so so far what it is is that the smoke grenade you know people are, have been sabotaging you based upon you know how they went what they went through as a child or the things you saw the potential in them and what they could be but you're reflecting in regards to what's fate gonna bring to you the chances that you've been taking in order to you know, ignore this energy and people thinking that they're coming in and saving you, but you've been saving them this whole time and replaying what they've went through in the past. And again, if you look at this card right here, the um, seven of pentacles, seven years is taking you, taking you to be able to just really discern, like, I'm not doing this anymore. It's time for a change, you know, um, and that's that. So that's kind of how I see that. When it comes to dealing with the energies that you've been a part, let's clarify the smoke grenades and sabotaging. And then we're going to clarify the rocking horse childhood uh, traumas, childhood experiences. Yep, cards coming out. The smoke and mirrors, look at that coming out. Will of Fortune, you know, taking a chance. Yep, look at that. Clarity. Spider Man, Superman being invincible, sneaky. And things like that. The card comes out kind of unsure. Bottom of the deck is the page of swords. Having clarity all the way around. Learning from the past, right? Learning from the past. The smoke grenades. What's happening in regards to the smoke grenade coming out. We have the nine of cups energy. Yeah, you're not worried about this anymore. Nobody is going to be able to, to uh, I was going to say, dim your joy, your wishes, the things that you want. Nobody's going to be able to do that. The rocking horse comes out with... You've been overthinking this. You've been having to pull your energy back and really just uh, reflect again, reflection, mirroring about, yep, the ebb and flows of life, about what you went through and what you allowed to happen in regards to knowing the situation, knowing that this person has been this way, the way that they are, it has, it has to do with them. It has nothing to do with you. And therefore, when it comes to, yeah, not feeling like or being stabbed in the back anymore, or feeling unsure or feeling like you can't trust the situation because of the fact that you've already been there seven years down the line. It's just time for you to just say, you know what? No, this is it. I'm done. You know, I'm done. I, I cannot go through this anymore. And now it's time for me to move forward. It's time for me to live my life based upon what it is that I want to do. And um, that's it. And nobody else can stop that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull from the... Um, Mm -hmm. I can't think of the name of this deck, but opposite, uh, opposition deck. Um, this is where it has, you know, um, the uh, up, re upright and the reverse on the back. So the upright is the positive side and the reverse is the negative side. Let's clarify the Nine of Cups energy. Nine of Cups energy comes out with the Five of Swords. See, you're not sad anymore. You're looking at this situation and you're walking away. If it was in this situation, it would be having the inside of knowledge to know what's causing you sadness. Now you're looking at everything with a fine tooth comb and what's stopping you from having your wishes and uh, blocking you from moving forward. We have the four swords energy that is here. We're going to clarify the four swords comes out with judgment. Yeah. Again, reflection and realization. You're realizing that you're not going to let this stop you. You're not going to live in the past of, you know, where there was some type of judgment that you were worried about. If you do this, it, you know, should you stay, should you go? You know, you've, you've reflected on this long enough about what this person has went through. And all you can do, this is you not sending negativity, but it's sending blessings towards them. 
and like, you know what? I reflected long enough. This has already held me back. And now it's time for me to move forward. So clarifying the will of fortune comes out with the five of pentacles. Yeah, this is the struggle that they have to go through alone. You know, the reflection is, is that, you know, this is as a child, look at that. It's childhood energy, you know, or it could be, you know, somebody going through this and they're constantly going through it. They have to realize and reflect on what it is that they're going through and what it is that they're bringing people through and make it not bringing people through putting people through and also reflecting basically like having a clarity that your energy, you know, your energy here is not the end all be all because that's what they act like. They act like they are the superhero, like they're coming to save the day when you actually have been saving the day for them all the time by reflecting on what they've been through and trying not to put them through that same energy. The Ace of Swords energy that comes out, comes out two cards. Yeah, one kind of unsure. Ten of Swords, just the same exact way. You could either pray for this person, you know, or let this person, you know, um, you know, really reflect of what they've been going through. All comes out with justice, the consequences of your actions. So you're standing up for yourself, right? The consequences of their actions. And before it was like, you know, they didn't care. And so now you have to be the one yielding the sword and understanding the same thing. If they want to be invincible, if they want to feel like they're saving the world, then basically what they have to do, I ordered it, it should be here soon, that basically, I'm recording, basically what they have to do is to, you know, come out of this energy where, hold on a second, let me see what my son wants. Okay, sorry about that. So, yeah, see, I turn around and I, uh, I turn around, um, and I, um, no, okay, sorry about that. I had to get a, I'm getting a DoorDash order or something, yeah, and they didn't have what I needed, <laughs> and my son was making sure that I knew that. Anyway, sorry enough about me um you see that's why I've been going back and forth and I haven't been recording so it's been a lot going on so we have the same energy of the ten of swords unsure energy of whether you should you know if you think this person is going to stab you in the back or any type of you know uneasy feeling about you being patient with this person and having the clarity that no matter how many memories you have of this person if they're not willing to deal with the childhood trauma they're going to grow old feeling and treating and being the same exact way, having the insight and knowledge to know what's causing them sadness, but it's causing you to be, um, uh, what is it called, in remorse of shoulda, woulda, coulda, but didn't, right? So with that being said, let's go ahead and clarify. I'm going to clarify this Ten of Swords and also this one as well, because here it is, you, you are receiving justice or they're receiving based upon the consequences of their actions the clarity that you have in order to move forward because this is the energy that you both feel they feel this way because you felt like, like this so it's not like the tables are turned or maybe so because the will of fortune is like the ebb and flows of life but this is how you felt and now this is how they feel like because you decided to you know realize that you can't change this person the explosions and all the, you know, the angry, angry, bitter type of energy, then now they feel that way because you decided to let them be their own superhero and come and save their own day, if that makes sense. So this Ten of Swords, and yes, mm, should I use, yeah, I'm going to use this Ten of Swords to clarify. No, I'm going to use this card deck because we're going to remember this is at the bottom of the deck. Because this is going to clarify your energy. So we have the King of Cups here. You have an empathetic energy over this person. But yeah, I just believe that when it comes to them being in the Ten of Swords now, you know, temperance balance almost came out. But them being in the Ten of Swords now, you know, that's because, yep, you had the insight and knowledge to know what the issue was. So because they felt this way, you were trying to save them. You know, you were trying to, and they kept looking back at you like, 
you know, what you want isn't good enough, but it's all about them, if that makes sense. So you had to sit on it and be like, you know what? This keeps going back and forth. It, the reflection that I have, my self-awareness, their self-awareness of what I'm aware of when it comes to them, they have the inside knowledge or the five of pentacles. They know their struggle, but yet and still they continuously walk away from people when they call them out on their actions, if that makes sense. And so now you have victory and also having clarity when it comes to this energy. And they have to understand that when it comes to all of this, you have to make decisions for yourself. Okay, yeah, so, you know, you know, they know now, you know, you've been knowing. They understand that they're not going to fix anything that's going on with them. The struggle that they've been through as a child, they're not going to, they don't want to fix that. So you had to grow up. And you had to read through and see through the look through the mirror and really think about the ebb and flows of how many times they go back and forth. And, you know, it's just it's a matter of time. Five years is here. Each pinnacle is equivalent to a year. But when it comes to this energy, so yours is, again, having the insight and knowledge to know what's causing sadness. Two fives are out here. You know, fives mean, um, you know, fives mean change. So there has to be some type of change that's happening on either one of your parts either they need to change and understand what they're going through or what they've been through in the chat in the past or you need to change and understand that you can't fix their past they have to understand that and so right now you are at a crossroads and replaying in your head what it is and so how did they feel with the ten of swords being here yeah <laughs> you were the fool not them you were the fool because they're running away the fool normally takes a leap here, right here. The fool normally will take a leap, but when everything dries up, they run away from it. Again, like I said, they're looking back at what is happening here. Five of swords, five of pentacles. They're looking back at what's happening and they're running every time they have, they be put, they're put to the test on something about their childhood. And so at the bottom of the deck is the lover's energy. Um, card of Gemini, doing what makes your heart happy. So this is not doing what makes your heart happy. This is struggle. This is doing, you see, the hair here, the person is walking away. This is sharing, and this is like, wait, where are you going? Everything is dried up, and like I said, it's the same thing. When things start to dry up, then with you, they're starting to realize, that's the clarity. They're starting to realize that, wait a minute, you know, they're not going to be here forever. And there is no, uh, and I'm saying hair, but it's really the snake. The snake is even leaving before they were feeding it. And here it is, Adam and Eve or whatever. I'm saying here, I don't know why I said here, but you know, Adam and Eve, look, nobody, everybody is upset with this because here it is blowing life into the situation. You know, it's, it's somebody blowing life, a lady blowing life and sharing and here it is, this person is wanting the same thing. But the person up here who was supposed to be, I guess, you know, um, you know, biblical, you know, Jesus, or, you know, it's like they're pissed off. Everything is drying up because, again, ego is involved. Everything is involved, if that makes sense. So, I mean, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But that is how I see this energy. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the... Um, what do I pull from? I haven't done this in so long. I apologize, you guys. I'll pull from the four agreements and then I'll pull from the crystal deck because I believe, actually, no, I don't want to pull from there. Right now, I'm going to pull from the um, the uh, Rose Iconic Oracle deck. Um, I like this deck. I got it and um, I haven't used it yet on a live reading. I've been like using it. Um, but yeah, the Rose Iconic deck, it kind of tells you what it is. Uh, and, you know, in a, in a perspective of what we need to hear, what, what the cards are, yeah, a billionaire. So, again, you're going around. This, to me, is like the will of fortune again, the ebb and flows of life. You could be a billionaire, but you're choosing to look and see things from the way that they are, you know. So that's kind of how I see that. Hold on one second. Okay, my order got here. All right. The other card is empath. Yeah, see, you could be so much more. You, what does it say? You could, we could be this, but you plan. But respectfully, it's just, 
in our nature to give our all to everyone and our empath empathic nature at that same thing. And then also, you know, we could be richer if we stuck to our goals, if we followed our dreams, if we did all of the above, shoulda, woulda, coulda, like I was saying before, but didn't. You know what I mean? But it's like you can't cry over spilled milk. The only thing that we could do is move forward, you know? And so I think with the billionaire and the empath, I'll go ahead and read the book because I have a little book. Yeah. And a podcast, you know, sometimes it says blah, 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 trauma bond. That's basically what it is. So we don't get our energy out there because we're so busy trying to fix everybody else. We could be billionaires. We could get our voice out there, tell our stories, but we're so busy bonding and, you know, with the trauma of everyone else instead of ours, if that makes sense. And so if we just sat there and told stories nine times out of 10, people wouldn't believe us. But for the most part, it's just like as many times as you went forward in order to pull, pull yourself backwards, the trauma bond is there. And we just have to learn how to be able to get through these energies of where we are and what stops us. And that's why you have the insight and knowledge to know What's causing you sadness is everybody else's traumas. And it could be a part of your trigger from you, your trauma, your own trauma. So I have the book right here. I'm going to go ahead and read it. No, I don't think it's any particular order, but let me see if I can find it. So we have billionaire, we have empath, we have a podcast in the reverse, and we have trauma bond at the bottom of the deck. So um, let's see. And and it's all a learning lesson, and that's why the ebb and flows of fear are here. The um, uh, what is it called? Oh gosh, I can't call what it's called. The wheel of fortune. And it's here twice. You know, it's the ebb and flows of life, and that's what it is. It's the ebb and flows. You have to go through something in order to get through something, but you have to experience things in order for you not to. But you have to also understand what trauma bonding is. Trauma bonding is basically a codependent type energy that can keep you, you know, going in the circle. You know, the trauma bond is there. And so, I mean, it's okay. To, you know, like my friend always says, you'll be, you'll know when you're tired of being tired. Here's podcast. And then I'll, um, I think I'll read podcast first. And then I will read, since we have podcast right here. Oh, here's trauma bond and here's empath. It's all back here. I don't see billionaire. Oh, so they're all basically in the same little area. So um, we'll wait on billionaire. It says in the reverse, though, it says, um, do you love your the sound of your own voice? I do. I do. And especially with the microphone. Do you believe the world needs to be informed of your new nuanced opinion on everything? Could uh, could could be time that you got your own show the masses need uh your brand of authority right now how will uh you wield your power with the microphone in front of you draw another card to see whether this direction see whether this direction will have a positive or negative impact on the world around you so again hold on maybe you can talk about the trauma bonds let's draw another card because that's what it says and then we'll we'll do empath, and then we'll do trauma bond. So the another card. So you must not be ready. It's in the reverse, or maybe you're at the point of understanding. You know, seven pentacles is uh, not here, but that's also planting the seed. The card that comes out is a legend. Yeah, you're not you know, looking. Privilege is at the bottom of the deck. So you're at this point, maybe not ready to step out on faith or to step out of your shell because you know we go in our shell like a crab but i believe that we should always be considered um a hermit but we're not but we go in our our shell and sometimes we go in our shell to reflect and that's what having the insight and knowledge to know about the struggles of what's causing you trauma because we feel bad about certain things so let's clarify the empath and then um hold on let's clarify the empath and then Hmm. Trauma bond. Here's trauma bond right here. Okay, let's do trauma bond first. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that person is not your twin flame. Get out while you can. This is a codependence. This is codependency. Like I told you, at the most toxic, 
You may find comfort in old familiar wounds, but resist the temptation to make connections rooted in things that no longer serve you or support your healing. I mean, I mean, this reading is all here. And um, the empath, it says, listen to this. Are you and this is gonna make you mad, but it's okay. We have to listen to certain things in order for us to understand. Are you an empath or are you hypervigilant because of all the trauma you endured, right? It says time to find a balance for those. And remember, balance tried to come out. Um, trying to find the balance um, for those hyperextended emotions. Give your nervous system a break right now. You can do so. Uh, you can do so by clearing out those emotions that are not yours to process. Remember, I just said that. Say it with say it with me. Here's the affirmation, you guys. I release all that is not mine to carry and return all that which is not my responsibility to hold. I can't make this up, right? Let me see if I can get it in there. I re well not in there, but you guys get it. I release all that is not mine to carry and return all that which is not my responsibility to hold. I mean, it gets no clearer than that because the legend is here, the millionaire is here, the podcast is here, but you won't be a legend until you're ready to get your voice out there. And I'm not saying won't, I'm saying that in a way of, you know, you have to be comfortable with being uncomfortable first. And right now you're at the point to where you're realizing that any way it goes, you know, moving forward, you guys feel the same way. They know what they're doing. And you're being an empath and trying to fix something who you feel like needs to be fixed or you see potential in. But reality is, is that this person feels privileged um, and they don't feel the need to have to be fixed. They run away from everything that turns around and makes them feel like they have to do something different, if that makes sense. I was going to try to find... Um, billionaire or privilege but at some point i can't and so uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and pull from the crystal deck and then we'll pull from the four agreements if i can find the four agreements on my desk because i moved everything but we'll pull from that and then we'll go from there no seriously i can't find the four agreements oh here's billionaire right here i just saw it but yeah i just believe billionaire it says are you hoarding wealth to fuel your king or queen baby dreams Mm. do you do not pass go do not collect a million dollars don't even go to jail or pay taxes think about doing some good think about doing some good and using your hoard to end world hunger already so maybe that could be a part of your podcast if that's something that you want to do i mean i'm just saying just you know think about that and um i don't know where my four agreements are yeah i oh here we go right here i do i had them right there in front of me yeah, I have the four agreements. So let's pull from the four agreements and then we'll pull from the crystal deck. The four agreements is don't, always do your best. Um, and so don't overdo. And that's basically what we've been doing is overdoing uh, when it comes to this situation. We've been overdoing trying to help and trying to really get somebody to real, recognize their pain and who they are and who you are. So don't overdo it. It says always do your best, but don't overdo. When you overdo, you deplete your body and go against yourself and it will take you longer to accomplish your goal. And so that is your goal is to be a billionaire, to be a legend and to start getting your voice out there and to understand the difference between, you know, uh, trauma binding and being an empath and somebody taking advantage of you, if that makes sense. And then so let's pull from the crystal deck. The crystal deck is the carnelian. The carnelian is the sacral chakra. Look at that. And so hold on. With the carnelian, it says um, the sacral. Oh, and if you want to um, know about the crystal deck and also the four agreements, click the link above. I'll put them up there. Physical vitality, grounding, and creativity. Yep, being creative. Physical vitality, grounding, and creativity. I have inner peace and joy. I have inner peace and joy. Now, let's let this old energy go. I gave you an affirmation in the book, but now it's time for a new one to release this old energy. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, 
generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or situation. I love you guys.